So to grow your email list, you need to give something away for free. And this something has to be something of value because no one's going to really part with their email address if that particular thing that you want to share with them is not of value. So in my case, how I did it was I created a WordPress course. It's called WordPress Mastery. In fact, you can sign up for the course. It's absolutely free. So when you sign up for it, this is how you get added to my mailing list. I also have something that I'm giving away for free and it is my uh, Divi template. So this is a template that gets you up and running super fast. So this template is made up of just a header, footer, and a 404 page, which is pre-designed for you if you want to design websites using Divi. It just saves you a lot of time. So let's talk about the tech and what really goes into setting this whole process up. So what I have here is uh, my installation of WordPress. So in fact, let me show you how I got my, uh, I mean, my current total. So this is 6,500. So this 6,500, this, these are my total contacts. This is my mailing list. What I've realized with this mailing list is when people sign up, they sign up in, um, in low numbers, depending on how many people see my promotional video. So I have a video that talks about the free course. And sometimes I talk about the free course in my videos. But if I ran an ad, on that video, on the promotion that I'm using to promote my free stuff, I noticed that I get a lot of people that sign up for my mailing list. And you can see here, this is a massive spike. This is 218. So this really dwarfed everything that I did here. So on average, I'm getting about 20, you know, 18 uh, throughout, uh, maybe a bit lower than that uh, per day. But when I run an ad, you know, it just goes super high. And this is how you can see uh, what happened here recently. But what I found beneficial here is with this email list is uh, this is how you can communicate with people that really like the program or the software that you are working with. In this case, I work with WordPress and Divi uh, mainly. And then I also talk about other uh, pieces of software like Fluent CRM, which is the software that we use to set all this up. So let's dive in and let me show you how to set this up. So what you do is you need to create a landing page. So uh, let's create a quick landing page here. I'm going to click on add new. So we can call this page whatever we want. It doesn't really you know, matter what we call it, but this is the page that you need to link people to. Okay. So let's give this page a name. Let's just call this landing page. I'm going to use the DV builder. Okay. So for this, you can build from scratch or you can choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to build this from scratch because we just want a quick design here. We don't want to waste too much time. So I'm going to go ahead now and just add these two columns. In the first column, we can add a video module. And this is uh, where you can just talk about the freebie that you're giving away here. Now, you don't really have to have a video. You can also have just text over here. So I'm just going to do a quick layout. And then over here, we need an email opt-in. So let's search for our email opt-in. And here it is. Great. So we have our email opt-in. We have our description here or our video. We may even want to have some text here on the top. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to add a new module and this can be a text module like that. And this could be our heading. So I'm just going to delete most of this text here and let's make this a heading. So I'm going to set this to heading one, make it bold. All right. So I'm not going to do too much um, customizations here. I'm just going to drag this here to the top. Okay, so we have our main title here, our video and our email opt-in. But it doesn't just end here because what we need to do is to connect this email opt-in to our email service provider. And in our case, this is going to be Fluent CRM. Uh, this is a very powerful piece of software. You can create automations, you can create so much. And also I have a 20% discount if you buy this using my affiliate link, which is in the video descriptions below. All right, okay, so now, what we need to do here is to create a mailing list. So we're going to come over here to our main dashboard and over here on the contacts, let's create list. So this is where you name your list. Okay. So let's just call this uh, test list. Okay. So you can name this whatever you want. So I just want to show you how this works. So I can create a list like that and I can also add a tag, which then I can use later on to automate my system. So for tag, you just hover over here where it says contacts and click on tags. I'm going to create my tag and I'm just going to call this tag new subscriber. Great. Now I can hit confirm. So I have my email list and I also have my tag. Now back over here, we might need to refresh this just to make sure that um, we have the latest uh, information that's going to connect with Fluent CRM. 
So what we need to do now is to come over here to this form and click on this gear icon. We're going to go into our email opt-in settings. We can customize our text here so we can just minimize this text a bit too much and also put a real title here to say maybe download my free course or access my free course. Okay, so access my free course. This is your course description. Now, what is important here is to come over here to email account. This is where you want to select your service provider. So in this case, it's Fluent CRM. So I'm going to come over here, select Fluent CRM, and we need our list now. Remember, we created a list. So we have quite a few here. Let me see if it is showing. Now, if the list is not showing, did we say free course or test? Can't remember. But anyway, your list will show over here. Okay, so once you see your list here, you select it. Now, if the list is not showing, you can just hit this refresh button or just click add. So th what this does now is it creates a new uh, profile. So let's just call this uh, Mac 2 so that we, we know which profile it is. So I'm going to hit submit. So now that I've hit submit, if I go back in, I should be able to see it on the drop down here. Let's look for Mac 2. And here we go. So I have Mac 2 here. We have our free course and then our test list. Okay. And then our tag here is called new subscriber. So I just want to go and uh, select a free course or the test list, uh, whichever one it is, I can select it and then click on add. So that should be fine now. And then I can just hit save. Now, when I come over here, remember we have our list and our tags. So every time someone signs up, they, they are going to be added onto this mailing, uh, mailing list. So let's try this out. So I'm going to exit the Visual Builder now. I'm going to save and exit. And you know what? We don't need to have the last name. So this is something that you, might, you may want to remove. And let me show you how to remove this quickly. So I'm going to go back over here, click on this gear icon to go into my email opt-in settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my fields. This is where we can disable the fields we don't want. So first name is OK. I'm just going to remove the last name. And sometimes it may be even a good idea to remove the first name as well. And then just hit save. So that's my email opt-in. Of course, we can design it, make it look nicer. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we are just going to you know stick to the basics here because uh, the process of creating the email list is more important. So I'm going to hit exit the Visual Builder. And now we have our email opt-in. So if I say mac at mactest.co and hit subscribe, there we go. So I'm going to go back now and see if there's a user or a subscriber that was added to our mailing list. So I'm going to come over here to dashboard. And there we go. So this is the user. Now, how do we know? who this user is. Well, it's simple. You just want to come over here to contacts, click on all contacts. And here it is, mactest.co. Okay. So this now gets even more exciting if you want to uh, say, automate this process and even provide the subscriber with a download link for the course or even instructions on what to do next. So this is where our automation comes in. And this is why I love Fluent CRM. So if you come over here to automations, we can say create new automation and then I'm going to say new subscribers. OK, so we are going to say when they're added to a list is when this starts. So I'm going to say list at, uh, list applied and hit continue. And then over here, I'm going to select my list. And remember, we called it test list. So I'm going to select that. Click away. And then I'm going to hit save settings. So this automation is going to start when someone is added to our test list. So here's what we need to do now. So what we need to do next, we are going to say, you know what? We need to give them a tag. So I'm going to say apply tag. And the tag is going to be called new subscriber. I'm going to save settings. So now when someone gets added to this uh, mailing list, they're going to be given a tag. And then I'm going to hit this plus button and say, OK, let me send custom email. So this is the email where you can say um, access the course. Or it could be download your freebie. So let's say here on this email, you could say download your free videos, for example. So this is the something that you would have given away for free. And then here is where you would need to add your text. And then you can just add a button here. So I'm just going to add a button and I'm going to say get instant access. OK, and then you want to go in and give this a link. I'm just going to add a blank one for now. Click on this button here. So pretty much you are good to go. I can now down, come all the way down to the bottom and hit save settings. So now 
we have created this system which is going to work automatically behind the scenes. So how this is going to work is over here, someone comes to your website. Let's refresh this because the form is gone now. Because remember, we uh, added our email here. So all you do now is you have your videos, you go on social media, you promote your free course. You can say or whether it's a free course or it's a free video download, it's a free webinar, whatever it is, this will be the landing page. So they'll come on this landing page enter their email address, hit subscribe, and then this now kicks in, okay? A tag is applied, they get access to the course, and then after this, you can do whatever you want. You can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to uh, maybe write another custom email, and in that custom email, I'm going to give them a discount to something else that I sell, or it could be I'm going to offer, you know, another course, or it could be maybe you want to recommend a course or recommend a software that they could use that is very beneficial. Like in this case, I'm talking about Fluent CRM. So that's where you can add those series of emails. So this is going to be done every single time someone signs up on your mailing list. So this is how I've built my mailing list. But remember, the most important thing is you need to give away something of value, something that is very beneficial, something that is transformational. So it can't be just something that you're just going to, you know, just give away, which is not really going to do much. So that's the key, because I believe that uh, the free course I gave out and the DV template really helps a web designer or someone who is aspiring to be a web designer, because there's a lot of tips that I share in there for free. And if they find them, my style uh, of teaching or my style of explaining things good, they might, you know, sign up for my courses. All right, guys, that is how I built my email list from zero to a little over 6,000. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.